article 97 1g and h are very clear there is no need for interpretation in fact if you go to court before you invoke article 21 and ask the supreme court to interpret a constitution it means that rivalry meanings would have been placed on it where is the rivalry meaning mm -hmm. that at the time if you cease to be a member of a political party at the time of your election then you have to vacate your seat where is ambiguity but you know what the mpp does after you're marking going to court it's like a child looking for a mother for breast milk I have to be fair, the court has become a very convenient excuse for the MPP. A goal, let's get a unanimous decision. But that's what I'm saying. Even with the unanimous decisions they are getting in the court, we will apply it to them. Now, you know, it hasn't always been the case because there was recently a case where the MPP lost and Apenio was, you know, which, on, which, on, on the floor case? as well. I'll try and, start and give Please you that specific look, one where you said that yes. the fact that this was ruled against the MPP as which, people were expecting is indicative it's that, case that it's, in, in it's, it's indicative that yes. uh, the courts are working. But, but the point I'm making is that the MPP have to be careful. And these are the signs to come that we will apply the same rules and precedent. But principles must matter in politics. You cannot give a ruling as early as 7th November 2020. And then we are in uh, October and all of a sudden the same man who gave the same ruling will turn around and say that, you know what, the facts are different. Why? Because they say somebody should petition. No law. The constitution did not state the procedure on how that petition ought to be done. They are best bet is that the standing orders of parliament in, I think, order 99 states that a member shall notify the speaker. And after the notification, the member would then petition. How the speaker is notified, we don't know. And, that's and the point. these are public records. And so the speaker, by reason of the fact that any member has filed with an electoral commission, these are, I mean, public records that nobody ought to have even notified the speaker. The speaker could have raised it on his own. We cannot leave our constitution to the whims and caprices of the MPPs to satisfy their ego. And, Bishis, let me make the last point. That we have operated the 1992 constitution from 1992. Even under the then Rawlings that people felt he was a, an autocratic leader or a military leader. Nobody called for a constitutional reform. Why? Because the leaders were managing the countries with their conscience, albeit there may be some excesses. Kufor did his part. President Rawlings did his part. President Mills did his part. President Mahama came. They were exercising what we call constitutionalism. Some fetters to the constitution, not living like Arabian kings. The only reason we are having to always subject our constitution to multiple interpretations and to ask even when there is no need for us to be debating is because the president operates like an Arabian king. Everything must satisfy his ego. The MPP political party would not even concede in a serious political party, the party should be holding a crisis meeting, saying that this is what has happened. This is what the constitution says. And so what do we do as a party and move forward? But why? They believe they have the courts. They believe they can all of a sudden use the media to circumvent interpretation and get all of us discussing. Are we not tired? Are we not tired that even we as a people, we cannot have some level of predictability in our system? Uh,